This just in, grape applesauce has been griefed. Players joined the server, warped over to my island, and they started raining destruction on my entire island until nothing was left behind. <laughs> Everyone, my name is Grape Applesauce, and welcome back to a brand new season of Minecraft Skyblock here on play.mindsaga.org. I have yet to log in during this reset, so I'm about to do that. Before I get to that, I am going to be showing you a series of events that took place the day before the reset. The server was set into purge mode, and in this purge mode, you can actually destroy anybody's island. You can destroy spawn. Any block in the world no longer has any sort of world protection players can get killed no matter where they're at if they're in a safe zone or not and I wasn't actually feeling too well I had a migraine during the time but I still managed to record gameplay and I'm going to be commentating over them so if you do enjoy it be sure to leave a like and without further ado let's begin the purge here is some footage right when the purge started I got the island warp of mine being destroyed all at the same time by a bunch of people who have just been waiting to get their TNT out to get their multi-block picks and they started going insane on my entire island they destroyed everything they took everything out of all of my chest all of the library was destroyed with all of the books along with it the entire storage room which was actually one of my favorite parts of this entire island just absolute insane warfare all around the server i didn't get much footage of spawn or warp pvp or any of those other things but they were absolutely getting annihilated as well. I went to spawn for like a few seconds and literally the entire area was just encompassed in nothing but lava. And as you can see right there, you had the GG going back over to my storage island. There is literally just nothing there. People are pouring water, lava everywhere. There's just no hope for this island. And ah, it's kind of sad to be honest. Like we had a really good last season. I'm not upset that all of my stuff got destroyed. More upset about the fact that the season was over. We had a lot better season in two than one so hopefully with season two being over you are all going to enjoy season three and we are going to have the best island yet absolute insane stuff happening during that purge. I'm so glad I was able to come and record that. I didn't think it would be that insane, but pretty much my entire island block by block was removed and all my stuff was gone or taken or whoever knows what happened to it. So let's begin. Yo, what's up everybody on the server? I am so glad to be back for another season here on the Kingdom Realm. I'm gonna check out this spawn. It looks actually really nice. I love the grand castles just everywhere, especially this grand castle so let's see what do we got everything is pretty much the same the crates are a little bit closer to the spawn area i do appreciate that we have a quest master but we have random quests you can actually take like mine a stack of cobblestone we'll take that one place 50 iron blocks place an end portal frame and kill a player how about we'll kill this guy who's just standing right in front of me just kidding he's got the poke digger one smile on his face and again with the server, there is leaderboards for the first place, second place, and third place winners each week. So you can win PayPal money just by coming on the server and being the top island on the leaderboard. And I'm going to try to get into the IS top 10 of this season. We were pretty close to number 10 last season, but you know what? We did not make it. So this season, we're making a push. We better go ahead and create this island. So let's fly this way. This is the portal to create a brand new island. So you just run through here and you'll have yourself your very own island. Welcome back to a brand new season of Skyblock. This is where it all starts here in the Kingdom Realm Season 3. Somebody's already given me money, it seems like, so thank you to whoever gave me a good start. We're going to start off, of course, by making the Cobblestone Generator, and by the end of today's episode, I do want to have an island warp area where you can all come and visit me, so let's go ahead make this Cobblestone Generator. Can I do it first try? I have done at first try the past season am i actually going to manage to do this i think i'm a professional at doing this by now I have to remember is it the water that flows so if we do this and then if i place the lava here here goes Yo, I think we just did it first try please just yes, I am the man. I am the grape man <laughs> 
See, this guy in the chat knows, hashtag grape the grape man. That's so weird. I literally just made that joke. I guess I manifested that for myself. So let's just sit here, mine a little bit of cobblestone, even though I don't really need to, but, but this doesn't feel like episode one without a little bit of mining cobble and whatever else spawns in front of my characters. All right, we've mined a stack of cobblestone and in the time it took me to mine a singular stack of Minecraft underscore cobblestone, I have amounted a total of five $574,000. Am I really going to be a millionaire by the end of episode one? Well, now that I have all of this money here, I have a little cobblestone generator and I don't want to eat that steak. Let's actually sell that right now. We're going to be building ourselves an island warp on top of this tree. I'm going to be building it solely by myself. We're going to be doing a similar themed island to last season. We do want to change the way we had the bottom floor. Like before, we had the grass platform that goes across the entire island. Island, but this time we literally want to have islands all around the open sky. I'm going to purchase myself some stone bricks. We're going to need some spruce wood once again. So this is a design I've been working on for like 10 minutes here. I think it's looking pretty nice. Fairly simple, but that's all we need it to be for the first few episodes until we get the grand island warp. Let's begin finishing up this build. I just have to finish this roof right here. It doesn't need to be that complicated. So I'm going to finish this up and and I will be right back to add in the donation chest and the signs. All right, I think that is about it for the nice little island warp. I do just have to fill in the rest of this glass. So I was thinking this season, I need to set an island goal. Are we trying to be the best in terms of island top? Or am I trying to be the richest player on the server and try to go for battle top number one, which is quite difficult in itself. Either way, it's going to be a tough challenge, but I do want all of your input. So if you have an input on that, let me know in the comment section down below. Or if you don't know what to say, you can just put a grape or an apple emoji. And there we go. We have finished up the island warp. Let's also put a few stairs up here. I'm thinking we got to just clean this area up maybe a little bit. Let's see. We could put, yeah, we can just put a few of those right there. Maybe on both sides as well, like this. Okay, that looks pretty clean. I've been getting better at building, especially this kingdom style. That looks absolutely great. So what I have to do is remove this dirt block and this tree for the most part so we can actually fit in the donation chest. Well, I gave that tree a good little trim there. So let's go ahead and install the donation chest so we can actually open up our island warp to the public. Even though there's not much to see here, I know a lot of you still want to come to my island to see what I'm up to. We have a good amount of chests right there. I don't think we'll have to worry about those ever getting overstocked, especially this early in the season. We're going to craft up a sign because I don't currently have one. We are about to announce that we have opened our island for business. Even though there's no business to be made, feel free to donate in the hopper and the island warp has been... Ooh. Hold on. Oh, you know what? We don't have enough island levels. I just realized that. Uh, what? I was going to purchase something a little cheaper until I just got $5 million from Inter Under. Thank you very much. There we go. Let's purchase that. We have 32 emerald blocks. Let's just place these on the ground here. Just spam them around because we just need to get enough island level so we can open the gosh dang warp. And there we go. We have reached level 35. We're four from level 36. Take two. Let's see. We have a brand new island warp it is open let's announce it in the chat oh my gosh somebody is already here 422 tiger you're the first one ever on my island warp this season how does it feel how did you even know that this exists i didn't even announce it yet there we go we got people flooding in it's small for now, but it will get bigger. All right. Oh my gosh. This is a lot of people here for this small island warp. Let's see what all these people think. Oh, it's such a flood in there of people. I feel so bad. It's small just for a couple days. I promise we'll get a much bigger one coming back soon. But that is that. I am very happy to see all these people here. I wish I had something to give away, but I really don't. Oh yeah, we have a crate to give away. Let's do that. Here in my hand, I have an August crate since there are no island warps really put up this season. I will not be able to give somebody from my comments a crate. So I'm going to be giving it out to one of you here in my warp right now. If you want a chance to win one of these yourself, all you have to do is comment on my video, anything you would like. And then at the end of your comment, you can put your IGN and make sure you have came on the kingdom realm and you've actually made an island warp sign just like I did with a donation hopper and I'll be able to give you your very own crate. Here we go. Good luck to whoever gets this thing. 
And I dropped it. I don't know who just got that. Everybody just warped in, but they're gonna be a little bit too late. Yeah, it looks like Depth Strider IX got the crate. So shout out to him. Thanks for hanging out here on my island. Now let's get the heck out of here. I don't know how these people are just so cramped up in there, but I appreciate y'all hanging out in here and watching me doing my episode. Let's open one of these crates for myself and see what I can get from it. Hopefully some good stuff as well, just like Depth Strider. Nine rewards. Possibility of 10 at the bottom here what are we gonna get let's go let's go let's go 100k iron blocks diamond emerald gold so basically 250k blaze and iron golem spawners that is absolutely amazing and three hundred thousand dollars on the bottom there here we are at spawn for the end of the episode. This is where you can redeem your crate keys. I currently have a decent amount of each key. I am going to be saving most of these though to use throughout the season. But let's go ahead and use a few of these basic crates and see what we can get to start our season here. A generator charm, that's so hype. But let's see, a second click gets us 32 emeralds. How about a drop party crate? A beacon, you know what? That's actually really good. And finally, let's click the advanced crate. A cosmetic, what kind of cosmetic did I just get? Oh, I got an arrow trail. I got the lava drip. Well, that has been it for this episode of Minecraft Skyblock here on play.mindsaga.org. I hope to see you all on the Kingdom Realm for this brand new season. And if you did enjoy today's episode, be sure to leave a like. It really does help me out. If you're new to my channel and you made it to this point, be sure to click that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to get notified on my next video. And other than that, I of course wanted to remind you all to stay positive, keep a smile on your face, and just know that I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.